What's up guys? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having a great morning, a great day, wherever you're at. Hope you're having a good one. Um, I'm just starting mine, so I need to get some food and get some G Fuel going. That way I am awake. Because as you can tell, probably... I don't really mind the hair. Like The hair is kind of cool, actually. I like it this, this way. Um, but my bags are terrible. <laughs> so um, I need to pack some food and I need to get some G Fuel. Pineapple G Fuel. We already used this shaker cup from yesterday. Phase. Um, no, I don't. I don't phase up to the. I, I phase up to like the phase community, not the pro team. That's why I have the phase shaker because you guys know I'm, op I'm an optic gaming fan. Uh, you know, a green wall member. But when it comes to uh, like YouTube personality people, uh, Face Banks, uh, Apex, uh, Adapt, uh, Rain, those guys, Sensor, those are the guys I kind of like watch, and that's why I like Face. But I don't actually really support the pro team for Call of Duty. Uh, I do that for Optic Gaming. So, Scump, Karma, Krim, Formal uh, for the pro team. Pineapple G Fuel. You guys have seen every single one of my videos. You guys know that G Fuel is definitely a part of my life. I think the worst thing about this flavor, and I'll just go ahead and point it right out. If you ever get this in a tub, and you open it and you think it smells weird, uh, don't worry. That's how it's supposed to smell. Trust me, it tastes, it's weird. It tastes a lot different than what it smells like. So, Plenty of water, plenty of ice. Let's try not to overfill it. Tighten. This one's kind of hard to tighten, but this is the uh, glow in the dark shaker cup, so it's pretty cool. Alright, cool. So, kind of greenish on the screen, I say, but uh, it's definitely more kind of like a, 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 a yellow in, the, in person. Then again, the, the cup is glow in the dark, so the color saturation of it looks a little bit different than it actually is. But now I gotta get snacks because I'm starving. So I'm trying to I'm trying to cut back on how much I eat because I'm starting to put on quite a bit of weight actually, and um, I've come to realize how useful having a snack bag actually is compared to a, a sandwich bag because. With the sandwich bags, I actually put like a lot more than I thought I originally had. So normally I'll take a handful and uh, throw it on in there. And then I'll take a little bit of a smaller grab. There you go. So I probably had like for wheat thins, I probably had like three times more than this a day. Definitely noticed how quickly the, uh, the box went. Um, and then for the cheese, it's it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, I eat two to three times more without even realizing it. This one's got a clip on it most likely means his mom was munching on him. So, that's another thing. I used to eat a lot of stuff that mom would like, but before she could ever actually eat it, I ate it all. So, I like to cut back a little bit. Why not? See what I mean? Like, I used to have three, two, three times more than what was in that tiny bag. It was honestly bad, and I, you know, regret my decision. But now I'm drinking G Fuel. I'm staying light on my diet, and I've been making some. Uh, so, uh, I'm bring you guys up. I've been making some pretty uh, bomb sandwiches. So we got a whole wheat, 100% whole wheat bread. Let's see. So I'm just pack 
uh, one sandwich, not two. You got for those of you that know or didn't know, uh, I always eat two sandwiches. Um, too many carbs. Got mayonnaise, but it's uh, it's real mayonnaise, and uh, we don't use a lot. We only use one line. So, H E B turkey breast, smoked pepper to shave, ninety eight percent fat free. Uh, so that's good. I normally have um, anywhere from four to six slices on here. Uh, I think the most fattening part is, of course, the salami. But no worries, we only add about four pieces on there. That's all we have for the day. We've got our cheese that's on top. Take our mayonnaise. And we go right across. So, if you're wondering what my sandwich looks like, that's what it looks like. It's pretty good. And of course, for my sandwich I have a sandwich bag so yeah I mean my lunch kind of consists on drinking this throughout the day uh, trust me I don't you know drink this like crazy um, my sandwich uh, the the one pop tart uh, in the morning this to go along with my sam sandwich and um, this as well maybe um, or maybe I'll snack on this throughout the morning um, just depending on how uh, hungry my body is when I played sports, my metabolism was um, a lot higher than what it is now. But now, because I haven't worked out in God knows how long, I don't think I have that same metabolism level. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're set. Our lunch is made. Uh, we have our G Fuel Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys in the car, and we're gonna do our first car video. Welcome to my car. In case you don't know what I drive, it's a uh, 2014 Toyota Corolla Sport uh, Plus. Uh, there's like three different models. There's a Sport, there's a Sport Plus, and then there's a Sport Premium. The Sport Premium has a premium package. Let's see if the garage closes. Yay! So the problem with the garage is when the sun gets too high up, uh, it puts a lot of sunlight actually in the garage. And um, you have to manually uh, press the actual garage garage button to close it because it's thinking that it's detecting something, um, the sensor, and it's not. It's just, it's being blinded by the sunlight, so it doesn't want to accidentally hit anything. So it's more of a safety precaution other than anything else. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is O-Central. Uh, you can call me O-Central. Uh, I have a lot of people who call me O-Central Galaxy. Um, please be wary that that is no longer uh, my name. Yes, I do still have that as my gamer tag on my Xbox. Uh, but I am in the works of trying to uh, change it here uh, in the next couple weeks or so. I just, I have not had the time to get around to it. Um, as you can tell from previous car videos that I've done, you know, uh, this car is definitely not as loud. This is a uh, completely stock. Um, I mean, it's, it's got the sport package in it. Um, so it includes the sport button and um, probably a little bit quicker of a th uh, throttle response. Um, but other than that, I mean, the, the rims are a little bit different, uh, but it's not a terrible car for, um, it's actually a great car to uh, get to point A to point B. To actually have fun with the car, for me myself being as big as a car enthusiast as I am, um, it's just it's not that fun for me. So uh, I'm currently in the works, working something out to where I can get a anywhere from a 2013 to a 2017 um, Subaru BRZ. Beautiful day out here in uh, Fluorville, Texas. Yep, just on my way to school. Uh, for those of you that don't know as well, uh, it's my last year. So, it's my last year of high school. After this, uh, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. This guy in front of me does. No blinker. No blinker. If you guys live in Texas, you guys know how crazy um, we drive. Um, we drive very safe and securely for sure, but uh, we're definitely very, very demanding when it comes to being behind the wheel. We want to all get to where we want to go, 
and we have no problem putting the pedal to the ground if we have to. <laughs> Gas out here is, uh, it's not too bad. If I have any viewers who aren't from Texas, I guess this is pretty informational for you guys. Let me tell you something. Born in California, myself, um, in a town in Riverside, and I moved when I want to say I was like two or three and um, I was introduced to Texas and I've been living here ever since and honestly it's not that I hate the state at all I believe that the state is a great place to be the economy here is very very good WRX over there spotted that you guys can't see it I'm sorry can't flip a camera around or nothing you guys are stuck to a, a a stick that's on my windshield but um all right we're here at school uh nothing special probably about 80 percent of the school a bunch of dickheads um that's to be expected it's high school uh but for the most part the people i hang around with which isn't a lot uh pretty chill all right we're here cool uh so I don't know how I feel about recording in school, guys. Uh, nothing against you if I see any of you guys and you actually... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and say this to you guys right now. If you watch my videos and you go to Hendrickson High School and you guys want to be featured onto my channel, um, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, and if you find me during a passing period or uh, if I'm on my way to lunch, definitely don't hesitate to... Uh, say what's up. But yeah, no, it's 851, school starts. Uh, classes are open to go into now. Uh, I believe like 840 actually. So, um, guys, if you enjoyed like this little morning part as well, let me know and I'll continue to do these and I'll try to, you know, continue to get better and have more things to talk about. Um, I still haven't really gone fully in depth on how this uh, new car situation is going to go with me getting in the BRZ. Um, or hell, maybe even the WRX. STI? STI? Don't hate on me. I like the STIs, alright? Um, I know they don't... I know they have a lot of turbo lag, alright? You don't have to tell me. Um, I know my cars. Anyways, that's not the point. Guys, if you enjoyed these types of the morning part portions of the videos, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and I'm, I'll continue to do them and get better on them, as I said. But, without further ado, I'm gonna get out of here and... Uh, have some fun in classes, I guess, and then uh, I'll see you guys after I'm done with school. All right, boys, we are now officially done with school for today. It is time to go home, change, and go to work. My G Fuel package, I checked la this last period, and uh, it says that it's still coming. Um, so I'll check the mailbox and see if it's there. If it's not, it's not. We'll wait and um, I'll do the unboxing. Well, I'm going to do the unboxing no matter what once we uh, get home from work, which will be around 9 o'clock. So I'm home. Yay. I'm going to get changed. I'll be back with you guys. We'll do a little bit more car stuff. When I get to work, I get to work. I'll let you guys know when I get out of work, I come home, settle down figure out what to do and yeah that's how it's gonna roll hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of this video if you do please don't forget to leave a like any questions comments or concerns you can always drop that down in the section below and if you're feeling spunky you can always hit that subscribe button no the video is not over i'm just telling you that now because i will most likely forget when i'm tired af after work all right real quick guys i know my shirt's off you'll be all right worry don't worry about it um package came so we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and I'll show you guys what I got when I get home from work something to look forward to once again I told you guys I was gonna notify you once it's here it's here I'll catch you after work all right my dudes we are now dressed ready to go to work this is literally like a vlog in my everyday life except Monday Mondays I have off and sometimes Sundays. Sometimes I have to work Sundays to make up for some hours, but that's what it is, man. That's what it is. God just closed and locked the front door. Great. So I'll probably make dinner when I get home. If I end up taking a break, then I'll just take a small cup and just sip on 
a soda or something. I'm trying to get better with the whole soda thing, the diet thing. You guys saw this morning I was trying to diet my food correctly. Um, it's the best that I can do for right now um, just because I can't afford anything really. Um, I might end up switching the Pop-Tarts out for bananas because we just know we got bananas. So that'll probably be a good switch. Um, might as well start doing that. Two shaker cups, just as a heads up. So if you guys watch my videos, um, if you drink G Fuel, that's one. Two, you follow me on Twitter. Then, and you went in a, a pink shaker cup. It's like a, a clear cup with a pink top. I'll show you in the unboxing, but if you guys want to win one of those, because I don't need two of the same cups, send me a, a picture of like your G Fuel stash or whatever um, on Twitter and just do like put a uh, put giveaway uh, in the description and then that automatically will enter you in to win a hot pink shaker cup if you want one. I think the thing that I dislike the most is having to go home change and just go straight to work and then I have to work X amount of hours for certain reasons. If it was up to me and if I had it my way, I would already have YouTube as my job. It's just not how the world works, so I have to work for it and this is what I'm doing to do it. I'm working for it, guys. You guys are seeing videos. I'm trying to push as many as I can out. Everybody loves to see me. They know how much hard work and effort I put in. All right, guys, I'm going to get going into work. Once again, hopefully everything goes well. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you'll be able to tell by my attitude. But I'm going to get going into work. Um, you, know, I, I, you know, it's nothing special. I just either flip patties or tell customers their order and take their money. So, unfortunately, I don't get to keep that money for myself. But uh, I don't think that's how it works. So, <laughs> catch you guys when I'm done working. All right, my friends, we are now. Go ahead. So, you guys were with me about, it's 9.05 right now, I got here at like 3.20 something, so a few hours. Um, welcome back, uh, or well, welcome back to me, to the camera, because I just got back after a few hours. You literally just waited a second or two. Done with work for today, which is nice. I don't have to worry about anything else. I just have to uh, kind of do a little bit of schoolwork, um, make sure I'm... Uh, prepared for whatever comes tomorrow. Um, I guess I could go this way. Why not? Um, not too bad of a day uh, at work. Not too bad. Um, normally they're pretty bad and they suck. Um, yesterday was... Eh, today was... Eh, it was alright. Um, not too, too bad. So I guess I can't complain. That's a Subi. <laughs> Guys! You don't understand how bad I want a Subaru. Like, I may, it may seem, if you guys can't see me that well, I'm sorry. Um, it may seem like I'm very ungrateful because I have a good, a really good car that gets me to point A to point B. Um, and it drives really nicely. But for me personally, that's all it pretty much does is it drives nicely and it gets me from point A to point B safely. Um, by no means is it fast. Um, it's a sport, so it gets up there a little bit quicker, but it's not under my standards fast. Um, it's just, it's not a car that fits my description as for what I, what my car needs are. Um, the ultimate goal is to have a hyper blue uh, WRX STI um, preferably 2015 or above um, the realistic goal that I'm working on right now is trying to get anywhere from a 2013 above Subaru BRZ right now I'm working out the logistics of trying to figure out if this place can actually allow me to afford that type of car um and you know if so 
you know, gray. So on my way home, of course, you guys are going to get the unboxing. Um, I'm going to actually uh, implement the unboxing into this video, and then I'll also have a separate video of the unboxing itself. So if you don't like my vlogs, but you do like unboxing videos, um, I'll have that separate for you guys, of course. So the only way you're going to know that I actually have the, whoa, I have the, um, unboxing video in the actual vlog is if you watch my vlogs um, which are fairly decently long you know they're anywhere from half an hour to possibly even more um, but it's for the true fans who have that kind of time and uh, dedicate their time to watch my videos it's very much appreciated as always thank you guys so pretty excited to get home shower up put on some uh, clean clothes that's always nice I feel very uh, dirty right now you know working around a bunch of grease and uh, all that stuff it sucks man it, it really sucks but I always look at it from my own perspective my perspective is is I have to tell myself I need to work hard with everything that I'm involved with whether it's school whether it's work um, communicating with people uh, trying to do certain things I need to work my 110% effort into it YouTube I have to do 110% in my YouTube channel. I'm trying to edit the best I can. I'm trying to make, you know, the videos as, as fun as to watch as I can. You know, I'm trying my 110%, and as soon as I try my 110% for the longest time possible, and I see results, that's the time where I don't have to work here. I can rely on my community on the YouTube base to allow to support myself because um, you know if we ever do if the channel ever does hit the 1000 mark um, first off that would just be insane I would be highly highly appreciative of it um, my end goal of this year is to hit 200 subs and we're at 130 something so uh, not 130, so I'm 134. So we have all of the rest of September. We have all of October, November, and December. So we have basically three and a half months to uh, hit another uh, 66 subscribers. So if you guys think we could do it, um, definitely help me out. You know, give a shout to your friends. Say, hey, you watch YouTube if you do check this guy out I'm not trying to promote myself necessarily in that certain way um, but all help is appreciated you know uh, I don't live a terrible life at all you guys see I have a very nice uh, car um, I have a job um, I have you know my community of the hundred and thirty four of you guys right now and if you're not subscribed I highly recommend subscribing because I receive I know you guys can't see me that well but I receive comments you know that are really nice you know great video keep up the good work um, my last vlog somebody commented and said that you know I'm starting to get better at this thing and uh, that right there just completely motivated me and uh, that's why I'm doing another vlog for you guys I know they're really long but if you guys give me time and you know you dedicate your time to me and you guys know every single video any questions comments or concerns that's anything you have to say about me or my videos please leave that in the comment section below because you guys don't understand how helpful your guys's uh, uh, your guys's words are to me you know I read each and every single one of your comments because it's not a lot it's really easy to read but it has a lot of meaning the people that dislike my videos I wish I knew who it was. If you did dislike my video, it'd be great if you left like a concern as to why you dislike my video. Uh, that way I understand how to get better at this because this is what I want to do. I want to be a YouTube content creator. I want to do the gaming. I want to do the vlogs. I want to do the unboxings. You know, I want to be able to, you know, start, you know, trying to get with companies and do sponsors. Um, and all that kind of stuff and I want to do that for you guys and for myself as well of course but I can't do that without your guys support 
and of course with you guys you know trying to uh, get me out there I promote myself of course because I'm you know solo yolo on this uh, I you know I have a lot of people in school that do support me and thank you very much for all that um, but I also promote myself I you know people that don't know me um, you know I just say hey I do YouTube I've told my teachers all my new teachers that I have this year I was like hey I do YouTube if you guys want to check me out go for it you know I don't care who subscribes because whoever subscribes um, is you know to me loyal and um, I'm very appreciative of the, the ones who are subscribed the one who watches all my videos all the way through thank you very much I do appreciate you guys you don't understand how uh, thankful I am and I uh, I want to I want to do something for you guys. Um, we're just we're not at that mark as to where I want to do a giveaway. The the, the giveaway um, would probably be a Christmas giveaway, uh, and that would be for the 200 uh, mark. We did one at 100, and um, you know one of you guys luckily won 50 bucks. I kind of realized that that was a lot for 100. Um, so I'll figure something out for the 200 mark. Um, and then we might just wait for uh, 500 if we ever do hit 500 even a thousand you know for me personally I see myself hitting that mark I can work my tail off and I can see myself getting there um, but it's not possible without the support of you guys so if you guys are at this part of this video thank you for being here so much I really appreciate it once again I'll unbox the G Fuel products for you guys. So give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Showered up, cleaned up, obviously. Love wearing this hoodie. This hoodie is so comfy. Um, got our G Fuel box. For those of you coming in and watching the unboxing uh, instead of the vlog portion of this, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are all having a great night. Um, as it's nighttime for me, but if you're having a morning or an evening, afternoon, any of that stuff, hopefully you're having a good one, of course. Um, it's another G Fuel uh, unboxing for you guys today. So I have a re-up on my favorite flavor and the brand new flavor. Now the tubs are completely different, and uh, with this bundle, because it was kind of like a bundle deal. I got like a, a free shaker cup. Uh, I got two of the same shakers. So for uh, a 200 uh, subscriber giveaway, if we ever hit that 200 subscriber mark, um, I may end up be giving away one of these shaker cups. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So with the cups, we got um, hot pink cups that are clear and then a pink. So... I'm going to go ahead and leave this one uh, wrapped. And we have two because it came uh, free with every tub that you bought. I'll go ahead and open this one just to show you guys. It's actually a really nice pink, not going to lie. That's closed all the way. This is a good one. Closes real nicely. Um, but yeah, so this is the cup. I'll show you guys. The G Fuel Energy Formula. The Gamma Lab symbol. And then it's just a hot pink. So I think it's a pretty clean cup if you ask me. I kind of like it. I think it's pretty clean. So if you want to win one of these for... Um, uh, the possibility of ever hitting 200 subs, um, you just guys got to help me out, of course, like I was saying uh, earlier in the vlog. Um, you want to win yourself one, let's hit that 200 mark, and then we'll do a giveaway. And I may even be nice and actually add in a tub of uh, your choice. So, and tubs ain't cheap. They're like $36, so. And then 40 something after shipping and handling, so. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this guy to the side here. So, I, like I said, I re-upped on uh, my favorite flavor, and that is the Tropical Rain. So, I have my old tub right here. So, in case you guys are wondering what the G Fuel tubs look like, this is the Tropical Rain one. Get a good look at that design, the color of the cup, 
itself for the tub. Pretty cool, right? So they redid the um, their tubs. You know, same tub size, um, same tub color, but the design is completely different. Go ahead and put this down here for you. So this is the newly designed Tropical Rain uh, tub. So we have all of our uh, descriptions of how many servings you get out of the tub, which is 40. Um, new look, same formula. So we got like a powder shake and get energy, sugar free, 25 calories tells you all that stuff. Um, it's got a new spot that tells you energy, focus, endurance, and uh, reaction, which is on their website. Instead of having fast results, uh, no crash or jitters. I believe that's not on here. Yeah, they got rid of it. Um, fast reaction ties improve concentration. Yeah, they got rid of that. So they just have these guys at the bottom. Um, this tub looks really, really clean, in my opinion. Um, of course, it's going to taste the same, whatever. But I collect these because these ain't cheap. So I have my own collection in the closet. Um, I live in a uh, like a rented out house kind of per se, and um, I can't actually like have like a wall shelving unit to where I can um, put these up on the wall because the landlord said no. So yeah, um, but yeah, okay. So this is this. What do you like better? Do you like the old tubs better or do you like the new tubs? I realized that the old tub has like a reflective G fuel and this was just the white. So if you like the reflective lettering more, you might like this one more. Um, but I'm really digging this new design. I think it looks pretty clean. So we're going to go ahead and put the new tub over here and put the uh, old tub right here. It's literally got like one more serving in there. Um, and then the new flavor. For those of you who don't know, excuse me, for those of you who don't know um, or follow G Fuel that often or at all, uh, they just came out with a new flavor. I will be trying this in the morning because it's too late to try it now because I'm going to eat my dinner. G Fuel made a rainbow sherbet flavor. And uh, I'll be trying this in the morning with the brand new, t or brand new cup. And I'll be posting a photo on Twitter and uh, my Instagram um, just to let them know. Got my packet. Well, I'll... I'll Tweet it tonight to show them I got my package, but um, really excited to try this new flavor for sure. Should be really, really good. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a taste test and review video in the morning for you guys. That'll be a part of the vlog as well, and then it'll also be a separate video. So this is the unboxing of all the, the two tubs and the shakers. So for all of this, I got it for... 60 something dollars so it's like 30 something a tub and then the sh free shaker cups so highly worth it um this is my last purchase from g for g fuel for a little while because i've re-upped on my favorite flavor i still have plenty of g fuel over there and we have a brand new flavor so uh we're we're pretty set for a while um i just want to get my hands on the brand new looking tubs uh and i needed to re-up on my favorite flavor and i wanted to try the new flavor so that's going to be uh, this unboxing, you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're tuned into the vlog, um, thank you for being here. And thank you for being here for this long, because it's quite a long time. For those of you who are in the vlog, um, we're going to go ahead and continue it. You guys are special. Um, because I guess they don't like me this much this time. Uh, they only gave me one sticker, but it's pretty cool. Um... But they only gave me one. Normally they give me two. Um, I do want to eat my dinner. Um, it looks weird, but it tastes really good, trust me. Um, for those who are still here in the vlog, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to actually be uh, ending it here because I want to eat and then I want to edit this video so I can upload it. If you guys did enjoy this type of vlog, with the whole car thing and whatnot, please do leave a like once again. I told you guys I was going to forget this earlier, but I do remember now. Um, so, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can always drop that down in the comment section below. And if you're feeling spunky, you can always hit that subscribe button. And as guys, it was your boy, O-Central. <sighs> trying to grab a cord. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one.